How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. Today I wanted to talk about um, stress and a particular form of stress that I think we can do uh, a lot about. You know, we have this tendency in our society to sort of think about stress as something that, you know, you can handle. And, you know, we look up to people um, who can handle more and more stress. You know, it's like, you know, I remember as a kid, looking up to people who could handle drink you know i could drink a couple of pints of of, uh, of beer and that's it i'd be gone you know but i used to always look up to people who could drink 10 or 15 or 20 pints you know and they didn't seem to be affected i mean obviously they were affected in more ways than one but it's the same thing with stress you know somebody says to you well you know i've got this so my job is so stressful and this is so stressful and i have to do this and that and the other but it's uh my tolerance for stress has gone up so I can handle a lot more stress. And we look up to that and we think to ourselves, yeah, you know, it's true, you can, you seem to be able to do these things. I wish I could handle that much stress. And it becomes a problem because the more you raise your, your levels of tolerance for stress, the more your stress levels will rise up to meet that tolerance. It's the same as alcohol. The more you drink the more you can tolerate and the more you will raise your consumption until you reach that uh, tolerance level or you go past that tolerance level and you go back to the same amounts of alcohol that you could drink before so it's just a never-ending game but with stress i mean there's a, there's obviously a point i mean with alcohol there's a point as well but there's a point with stress where once you get to it it's that it's like stretching an elastic band it will snap and something in your life will snap, you know, you'll snap in your job or you, you just can't handle it anymore. You snap in your marriage and your relationships with your bank and it will show some way in, uh, in some form or another, you know. And the solution to it is that we don't allow our stress levels to get out of hand. You know, it's not that we can't go into stressful situations. There are stressful situations in all parts of our lives, right? But it's stress is something that you're causing to yourself. So instead of um, instead of chilling out and handling the stress, you know, we should be instead of increasing the stress and you know um, increasing your ability to to tolerate the stress, you need to lower your stress levels. You need to lower your tolerance for, for stress, and your your stress levels will come down. So what I mean by that is you. You go out and you walk. That's my favourite thing. We're out walking with the dogs, even with the lockdown now here in Spain. We're allowed to do this. My sister over in England, you know, she's allowed to go out. They're allowed to um, to exercise within a certain distance of their home. Uh, it's a good thing. It keeps people's stress levels down so long as they're keeping the social distance, you know. It's a good thing. Um, if you're not allowed out, there's other things that you can do, you know. I mean, um, I'm into calisthenics using your body weight, doing press-ups, doing sit-ups, doing um, pull-ups. I've got a pull-up bar that I invested in 150 quid for this sort of a, a machine thing. It's not a machine thing, it's just a rack, it's a bar um, on a stand. Uh, you know, there's so many different exercises that you can do. There's, you can walk in your own front room. You know, there's a, there's a guy that went out into his garden and ran a marathon in his garden. Look, watch this guy now. I mean, this is excellent. It's just this guy outside in his garden running a marathon for charity. And if you've got no garden like this, if you're living in a flat, here's two guys that ran a marathon in their front rooms, in their living rooms. <laughs> so there is no excuse for doing it. And what happens when you lower your stress levels like that, you lower your tolerance for stress, you bring yourself back down to um, a really slow, passive, level you meditate you exercise you bring your heart rate down you breathe you do what you can it means that you're much more capable of dealing with the stress you know what i always say about the alcohol when you don't drink alcohol anymore you lower your overall stress levels you lower your overall brain fuck it up at this <laughs> uh, and you allow yourself the space to deal with life much better so you don't need to drink alcohol you don't need to fix anything you don't need your fix of alcohol so i'll leave it there for today um, i hope you're all doing well 
I uh, hope you're all staying safe. Take care of yourself. I'm going to look. Bye now.